evening. So for the last few days, I've been reading a book called How to Date a Superhero and Not Die Trying by Christina Fernandez. The main character, Audrey, is a med student in her early undergraduate years at Columbia University. She's the kind of person who plans um, pretty much every aspect of her schedule down to the minute. Like, if she's going to a party, she'll actually allot time in her schedule the next day for the hangover that she thinks she's going to have. And a lot of these habits come from, like, an incident when she was younger, when her school bus almost fell off a bridge, I think, as a result of a villain attack. And she was rescued by a superhero at the time, but, you know, it was a pretty scary near-death experience, and it pretty much altered, like, her entire approach to how she handles life and the um, her plans for her own future. So Audrey, uh, because of this, is a really, really busy person. Like, she takes, she's taking a bunch of classes that she's determined to score, like, four point oh's in she's in a bunch of clubs she's you know get going into a research lab to uh get the best possible resume i guess for her upcoming med school applications in order to become like a good doctor as quickly as possible but her Days get even more hectic when she discovers that her boyfriend, Max, is in fact a superhero. And this adds like this whole new dimension to her already extremely hectic life where she now has to add in an additional program that's designed for the non-superpowered significant others of superheroes, like because you may often become the targets for villains and during attacks where your safety could impact like how your significant other is able to handle the situation. So it's kind of like a class on how to defend yourself and keep yourself alive. Like for instance, rule number one is not to be the hero. Like obviously if you can run away, you should run away as quickly as you can. And like some of the skills that they really value are like your grip strength because you know chances are really high that you're gonna get rescued if you let's say, falls, fall off somewhere high, but you want to be able to hold on to whatever you're holding on to for as long as possible to wait for that rescue to come. But uh, I guess these programs, like having to deal with the superhero aspect of her boyfriend's life, the villain attacks, and like her own uh, research lab problems, where like there seems to be someone who's sabotaging her stuff, like it all creates a really, really hectic life, especially for someone who values being able to so meticulously schedule and organize like every aspect of her time and her life in general. And the story uh, follows Audrey, I guess, as she tries to juggle like all these different elements while also trying to figure out like what exactly she wants from her future and who exactly she intends to be. So there are a lot of things I like about the story. Like I appreciate, you know, there I do like stories where the main character is the superhero, but it's also kind of refreshing to have a story where the main character is someone who does not have powers. And it's kind of interesting to think about the problems and challenges that are faced by the loved ones, I guess, of the people who go out and do really amazing heroic things, but also um, put themselves in a lot of danger. I appreciate how the story, I think, takes this subject quite seriously, like, and I kind of like, for instance, that the main character is, you know, not someone who necessarily wants powers or who, you know, finds anything particularly glamorous in this life. Like, I uh, like this one thing one of her teachers in the program says, where it's like, he's with the person he's with, not because they have, like, amazing abilities, but you're with them in spite of, like, a lot of the problems that comes with the significant other of a superhero. Um... Yeah, like, I think it, you know, there wasn't necessarily quite as much humor as I expected, because it actually took this really seriously, but like I said, I actually really like the way that the story handled things, so there isn't actually anything that I uh, dislike.